Hello everybody and welcome back to Wobbleville. As promised, we're going to try and do some of the snow and ice effects here on our Night's Watch unit. I do believe these were the two guys we painted up on, was that Saturday? Right here. And I'm pretty sure that these are the two that we painted up on Friday. Four horsies. First thing we have to do though is actually paint that thing. And we're going to use the green stuff where liquid pigments on this real quick just to get this up to speed because all of this paint is already dry. I mean, we don't have to do much in the way of colors on it because it's mostly going to be covered up by, well, snow. We're also going to add some of these guys right here. These are from Green Stuff World. I don't think I've actually... I don't even know if I've had a chance to use these yet. These are some heavier tufts, right? Well, not heavier. They're just a little bit taller. Oh, no, I have used oh, I've used more of these than I thought. So maybe we'll try some of these guys right here, see what kind of interesting snow we can get out. Oh, there is our moderator, Armored Wolf. Hope everything is going well and that you'll be able to get a lot of work done on the dice bags as we try to get this work done. So we will... Hey, Josh, how are you doing? We're going to be doing the, the winter effects here. So we've got our, our crushed glass, our water... And we've got our micro balloons. So let's see if we can combine some of these together. I, I haven't tried these together, so we'll we'll see what happens. I have no idea. Your guess is pretty much as good as mine. What's going to happen now? I will be pointing this out a whole bunch right here. Do not shake. Kathy, actually, anytime we had a new jar of this, she would write in big letters, "Do not shake," because what's the first thing we do? And it's important because these things here. You have to shake them. You, you must shake that, that sound you're hearing, or that agitator bouncing around in there. You need to hear that sound. Otherwise, whatever the, the mix of this here is, not really going to work so well. So you definitely want to hear those things bouncing around. Uh, so Josh, are you gonna are you doing the, the work thing again tonight? So we are keeping you company at work. Boy, look at this asphaltum horse. I'm like, that is a, well, let's see, we got Terra Rosa here. So we have the two relatives next to each other, the Terra Rosa and the Asphaltum. Just two really spectacular colors. You can really see the robes and such, the cloaks now. That the oils have dried and you don't have that gloss on them anymore. Really does make a big difference, doesn't it? This is our homemade raw sienna right here. I don't know if I'm ever going to use raw sienna again. I'm telling you. I prefer my own mix to it. You can really see some of the green that we put in here, right? And you say, what's, what's with the green on that? Well, because all of this is going to be snow and ice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these guys well out of the way. Oh, and we are going to be, after this is over, as far as the, the snow and such, just got some Reaper figs here. These are commission guys. Those have to be done. So we shall, we'll do as much on those as we can. So we have our little spritzer right here. Here, let's get our snow effects and such over there. Where's my black set? We know we're going to need some of this. Oh, let's see. Our Josh just got some of the Army Painter rock stuff to add to bases. And they have the grass and snow. Uh, I don't know what their stuff is. Uh, yeah, I've never seen their grass and snow. The, by far... The most realistic, best snow I've ever seen is this. This this two-part combo right here. This is by far the better way. And I've got about 20 tutorials of this on the YouTube channel and also here already. Whereas, uh, yeah, you can watch it on any of these right here. This is just a tiny portion of the crushed glass technique. So that literally there is at least a dozen videos on the YouTube channel that show how to use that. Oh, and it's fantastic. See the, we'll be doing the icicles right there. Now here is another little example. Where'd you go? Ah, actually we got a couple of little examples over here. So that's your crushed glass again. See how it kind of just hangs off the static grass right there. That And then can make my little icicles there but this is the other benefit of the the crushed glass here so it can get the blood effects in there see how it seeps in why because it's literally crystals see all these little glinty things that are going on there that does not happen 
with any other material. Just it just doesn't. I, I realize that you know obviously you have to be careful with this stuff here. Not be silly with it. You have to take some care. But it's it's worth it. I mean, how how is to have super really interesting effects that look exactly like snow? Is it worth it just throwing a little bit of caution? I've used them for years. And by years, I mean like eight years with no issues, no problems at all. So, I mean, I, I think people should be able to use those without doing any uh, craziness to themselves. Well, Josh, hopefully this is entertaining as well as informative. And I'm just, all I'm going to do is just throw some of this stuff out there. None of it has to be fancy, right? Because in the end, it's mostly going to get covered up. So what I want to do here is do some spritzing of this just to get that going. We will take a decent sized brush and we're just going to have at it here. Nothing fancy. I could use something that's a little bit more of a reddish color here. Hey, Angry Ham, how are you doing? Yeah, we'll just we'll try that as our reddish color. So one second, I just want to make sure we didn't. Uh, okay, want to make sure there was no spatter there or anything crazy like that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice, deep, dark, reddish brown there. Let's get a little bit of this in there, too. And then while this dries, we'll hit up the... We'll hit up the regular... Our, our guys on the regular bases, and then we'll come back to the, the tray here. The Angry Ham, this is the, the, the green stuff. Uh, what do you call them here? They're weathering pigments. They're liquid pigments. We've used these several times before. I think you saw the T-34, right? We've used these probably on about four or five vehicles here on the stream. We've used them actually on the, what is that, the the cavalry dudes, the Dothraki cavalry. So, yeah, that we use them here too. We need to use these because they will dry, and then we will be caught up, and then we will be able to do the snow effects on these. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait for a day so or so we before we can do that. Oh, thank you so much, Loim. But the sub, he's like, there's nothing but bases here. There's nothing but there's nothing but a movement tray. I'm free. I can do whatever I want. How are you doing? So how are you doing there? And Ryder, welcome in. Oh, let's see. And, and we got trash in here, too. We have trash o rama in the house. So how you doing? This is the same green stuff. Where, where, where's a, a little example that we can use? Here we go. We used them. Remember, we were using it on a lot of our forest bases. Let's see, ah, look at that. See how nifty that is. That was also done with these same liquid pigments right here. They're abs they're actually really fantastic. They're just they are a little bit more convenient, I gotta say, than just using the the weathering powders. Now you can turn weathering powders into a liquid and do this same thing, but it just there's the getting those weathering powders out of the container always is a little bit of a messy prospect, anyways. Okay, that wants to be stuck to that for whatever reason. And I'm just going to use a little paper towel here, soak up some of that extra water. We don't need that. Oh, let me see. So, Ryder, I hope that you're you're doing okay. And <laughs> I, geez, yeah, this was one heck of a Monday. It was a very busy Monday here. I have no idea just how much Monday there was for everybody else. There typically tends to be too much Monday. And we're just going to get some more of our cans. Some more of this darker stuff here. We'll be mixing it. That is what I like about this. You can really mix it up pretty well, I have to say. And when you've already got the, the water kind of infused in it like I do, 
just spreads around, has a has quite a bit of capillary action. Speaking of oils there. We're gonna get some more of our more of this yellowish brown here. You could say just kind of changing the color along the way. Nothing nothing big, nothing crazy. I'm gonna get some over here though. Heck if we wanted to, we could I could do the makeup sponge thing here too. It's gonna be a little bit different than when you're obviously doing something like that with oils. Hey Steela, how are you doing? Oh, yeah, here we go. So I thought, eh, there's one more area where we could still use some of this darker stuff. We kind of had to go old school on the palette, of course. Instead of the parchment paper, we've got our old-fashioned paper palette there, which is a little less absorbent because, well, we don't want to be absorbing all this. That That's more of an oils thing. Okay. We will be adding some, uh, maybe a couple of different types of, well, either tufts, static grass, whatever, just a couple of different types of things, see what we get. Hey, Kweez, how are you doing? Hopefully everybody is okay there, and, well, the week is off to a start. I don't know if it was uh, a, a good start to the week or a forgettable start to the week. Sometimes the... The week starts well and maybe doesn't end so hot, and sometimes it's the reverse. But what we will do here is we'll just uh, get ourselves a nice little variety of whatever on these rocks here. You can, where's a, there is a lighter one of these. I mean, we could use this one, or there we go. And we have discovered you can practically paint with these things. Hey, you monkey love, how are you doing? And Megan, I was wondering. Ah, uh, so Queez, it was definitely a Monday. The, yeah, it was very much a Monday here also. Yeah, it was very much a Monday. Holy smokes. There was a whole lot of Monday today. But at least there was, believe it or not, there was a pie. Uh, it wasn't quite the pie that was originally anticipated because it was a Monday. But there was, actually, it was pretty darn good. So here, we're, we're, see, we're taking that, we're mixing that, using the brush on its side here. Like so. I think we can put the water aside. I don't think we really need that anymore. Yeah, Kwee's all pie is definitely, and it was, it was needed. Definitely needed some of that there pie. Yes, it, it, it Monday began. Literally, I no sooner was I, I somehow crawled out of bed than a pie crust in a Pyrex thing came flying out the freezer door at me. And basically, I stuck my foot out to try and keep the Pyrex thing from shattering. But that also broke off pieces of the crust, making it useless for pumpkin pie, which is okay because we had no pumpkin pie filling anyways. So then we got banana pudding and other things like that and shredded coconut and bananas. And then there was actually a, basically a banana cream pie, which probably is, well, it's got more potassium in it than a pumpkin pie. That's for sure as we welcome in Orcris Gaming. So monkey love, hopefully your Monday was not too crazy. So again, we're just using the Green Stuff World liquid pigments here. Why? Because we want this thing to be dry enough so that we can do all of the same snow effects like we're going to do here. So what we're going to do is we'll, we're going to be darkening this down a little bit more. We do want to get a little bit of lighter tone on our rocks here. Not too much. Remember, the lighter these rocks get, the less effective our snow is going to be. So let's not get too crazy making these rocks lighter. Which is why we're letting this kind of go wet into wet here a little bit. And it's toning down the lightest of those lights. But remember, this is the very same stuff that we used on all of our winter vehicles. We used it on this, on the T28, on the SU-122. We used it on all of them. 
Uh, let's see. The bad part was the repairman came midstream. And uh, now I had to drop it. That's, uh, hey, Sinstar, how are you doing? Well, sorry that, uh, yeah, that this has definitely been a Monday for sure. No doubt about it. It's been a Monday. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just we'll take some whatever here, something that is a darker color here. I don't know. Let's just uh, grab some blue liner here if we if I can actually find it. Well, here's brown liner. We'll use some of that. Yeah, then we'll grab some blue liner perhaps, maybe. Or we'll just use this. And then maybe some blue liner if we can find it. Nope, that is still not blue liner. We just had to kind of toss colors off to the side here. Just to try, and that's also green and not blue. So apparently the blue is just uh, kind of vanished into thin air somewhere. And like all acrylic containers, it does that, which is why we just like acrylic paint less and less and less and less and less and less. Because it really is just a pain. So since there, I hope you're doing good. Finally got the materials. Uh, have to start thinning and bottling the paints tonight. Well, since Star, I have to do that exact same thing because Kathy needs her oil paints for tomorrow. And, yeah, that will have to be done. Okay, of course it doesn't want to do that either. So we'll just do this the old-fashioned way. This never happens to the oil stuff. I can tell you that right now. That has never once happened to me with the oils. But what we're trying to do here is just get something dark in here and around the outside just to see well actually how dark is this stuff because I'll never know just having that that stuff the primer stuff on the sides here so let's just hit this darker real quick like hey pointed star painting how are you doing oh let's see Ah, big, big acrylic, you're not safe for very long. Because later tonight, once all the snow stuff is done, out come the oils again. So you shall not be safe. Ah, sorry that you can't sleep there, eight-pointed star. <laughs> I th Armored Wolf and I will be joining you in the not sleeping thing, not so much because of, unfortunately, restlessness. We, that's, uh... That's kind of how much work awaits us over the next, well, several weeks here. So we shall join you in the <laughs> sleep, closing eyes. What's that all about? Never heard of that. So this is showing me just how light and or dark this is. So I can, I don't necessarily only have to use the liquid pigments. I have mixed those with regular paints before just to, occasionally make them a little bit darker and or lighter or just a different color so i mean they're acrylic speaking of big acrylic they are acrylic so you can mix them with regular paints we got ourselves a drew yes drew <laughs> sleep is uh well vastly overrated i guess uh let's see angry ham says one thing i've taken the, this track and go with the bigger brushes yeah, it's uh, everything here definitely rotates around the bigger brushes. I mean, you've seen us use the the quadruple zeros and that sort of stuff when it when it comes time for it. But there's definitely a time for it, and definitely a time for these guys right here. That's for sure. So we'll just uh, so Drew. I hope everything's going well. And folks, if you're, I'm sure you're probably already following Drew. He typically streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays in the later hours of the evening, the after dark scene. So be sure and give him a follow and also check out his Etsy page for all of his fabulous war grips. Because uh, otherwise you'll be painting on dead... Oh, speaking of... <laughs> speaking of crushed glass, that's what this is. Uh, this is... This is a dead container of crushed glass, minus all of the crushed glass. Yeah, I mean, it, it's uh, 
there, there is a part of you that says, well, maybe experimenting with sleep once every several weeks or something like that could be enjoyable. Maybe. But it's such an alien experience for us. We're just wondering, <laughs> this, this sleep thing where you lose consciousness and you drool on yourself and stuff. We're like, well, how do you get anything done like that when you're just sitting there drooling on yourself and snoring probably or doing whatever uncivilized barbaric things that happen when you're asleep. So I think we've got that pretty well set now for that next stage. And that is just close enough to here. It's close enough. You know, I could maybe get a little bit darker there. Well, I suppose actually, you know, I, I've... I'm sure I probably drooled on myself during the day too, I guess. So maybe <laughs> maybe I'm just uh, sleepwalking all day. Maybe I actually am asleep. I don't realize it because I'm just drooling on myself. I'll just get a couple of dark... And, hey, look at acrylics. I can use my fingers. It's acrylics. And I, I know I was talking about this in the last couple of acrylic videos. The only reason I'm not using my fingers with the oils is because well this is gonna this is dry already <laughs> with the oils it doesn't dry and well there might be some things that I end up getting paint on that maybe I really didn't want to get paint on so that's that's why we kind of refrain from using the finger brushes when it comes to oils but now we're all good to go here I will give that just a few seconds here to try and dry off we are gonna get rid of this thing though because we don't need this anymore we are going to make some space, though, for a crushed glass and a realistic order. It's a two-part system right here. Now, the goal might be to drool on yourself. Yeah. <laughs> well, if that's a goal, that's the only acrylic, big acrylic says, please buy all the acrylic. My children need new cars for the holidays. And I'm sure if it's big acrylic, those are only Bentleys and you know, Del Dorians or whatever, only the most expensive and the best. Now, speaking of the best here, see that little thing that says, do not shake? Actually, literally the first thing Kathy would do with these is take a marker like this and write, do not shake. Because these things, you have to shake them. The acrylic tubes or whatever, even the oil stuff, you, you better shake those up before you use them. This right here, you do not want to shake this. The more of this you have, the more kind of, what would you say, melted snow you've got. The more of this you have, it's almost like green stuff. You get different consistencies, right? The more of this crushed glass, guess what? You're going to have that fresh fallen snow look. Now what we're going to do is just get some of these guys out of the way because they're just going to be in the way right now. And then we're going to show you some of the, just a few. Now if you want to see... Oh gosh, like, like I said, there's at least a dozen YouTube tutorials that have all kinds of snow and ice and other such effects on them. There's just tons. I mean, well, we got more here too. So your, there's your crushed glass snow. You see how you can have a, a nice kind of almost watery melted snow versus over here. See, it's a little bit more of a fresh fallen snow right there. Uh, let's see. Hey, Arge, how you doing? Uh, I want to stick around and see the snow going down, but just started my heating all the fry the chicken. Okay, well, that's Arge. You can uh, you can always check it out right later. I mean, we're just we'll we'll be painting some regular stuff after this, but I just wanted to get these get the snow down on these guys here. Let's get the low down on the snow down, and that means actually, I'm just going to snap me a quick picture here. Real quick before we get into this. Oh, wait, before we forget. We will be using our Liquitex Heavy Gel. Last time you saw this, we were making fire effects out of it. Well, that that is if you were watching the, the Patreon video there. But, uh, yeah, that was... It makes great fire. Uh, it great, great water, fire, ice. It, it makes pretty much all the stuff. It's just excellent. You know, let's just a, get a quick little picture here of this. Boom, bang, like so. Let's see if we can just uh, 
pop off a couple of these guys and get some of those glued around. And we got uh, Di Marino in the house too. How are you doing? Ah, oh, let's see. Ah, oh, fried chicken. Yeah, that. Uh, well, I have to say the <laughs> the pie that we had that was pretty darn good. Now, we always refer to these highly technical devices as pokey things. We're gonna take the pokey thing and we smush that. How's about another toft over here of some type? And I don't know. Maybe we try one of these bigger ones here. Something like that, maybe. Now, where's my highly technical pokey thing? There it is. Pokey things are so technical, they just kind of wander off on their own. We'll be putting some icicles off of that tree branch right there. Let's throw in, see if we got a smaller tuft here that maybe we can throw onto the corner here. Good enough. Oh, you know what? What the? Ooh, you know what? I should wait and see what uh, we've got. Yeah, on our other horses before we start chucking some more of these on, on the yeah let's uh, do this first well I don't really see a convenient area for one on here so we won't do that on this guy there's a, a fair amount of uh, barkage on these guys here so I'm just gonna maybe throw one little tuft on here now oh, all right we'll do the lurking thing oh Nashville style Gee, that that does sound really really good it really does. So again, the, these little tufts here, they're from Green Stuff World. I just thought, what the heck? Throw some of these on there. Give me a chance to maybe do some some nice little fun extra snow effects here. Last one. But we do have we have lots of places that we can do some some fantastic ice effects on. Really looking forward to that. Okay, let's see if we can't throw ourselves a a smaller ah there's a small one smaller one right there away we go and you can see now that the oils are dry you don't have your you don't have any of the well what would you say that that satin finish or whatever now again some oil colors are going to just dry flatter than others others are going to dry a little bit shinier than others. Okay, I think we've got that's drying pretty well. It's nice, nice and dark there. All right, we'll put you off to that's where that's where my pokey tool went because uh, magnets, magnets happen. All right, we're gonna get their Liquitex stuff out of the way. Another thing that it's always good to have is something like a this is just the top of a butter container right here. Actually, it's really convenient to have this little channel around the outside like that. I mean, it is really convenient. Now, what I actually have to do is get myself a little nice clean thing of water here. If we can find some. There we go. What we'll do is we'll just throw a little bit of water into this channel here. Not much, just a bit. That's more for the brush than for the snow. Actually, it's really entirely for the brush, not really for the snow. When you mix this stuff, you don't want to use a whole ton of it at once because it, it'll set. It, it will set, and the next thing you know, you've got no more, no more snow effects because you've kind of just... Uh, had it all hardened on your palette. That's probably not something you're looking to have happen. Let's grab ourselves. We need some clean brushes too for this. You're going to want some clean brushes of different sizes. Guess what? Your number eight round one true brushes work just fine for that. Maybe we'll try. Let's try one that's got fewer of the trees first and yeah something more simple like this one right here also 
I mean, we might even put this over by the palette here once we get this thing mixed, but I did want you to see. And of course, this can this can happen too. That has a tendency to just kind of stay in the lid for whatever reason. So we'll have to just pull that out here. I don't know how easy or difficult it is to get this stuff right now. It could be very difficult. But there we go. Now we've we got a top on this thing. And we're going to separate these two. We're going to put some over here. And then we're going to pour out some of this here. And with this, less is always more, just like the oils. Okay. Want to make sure that's closed up good because if that falls over, well, <laughs> you're out of crushed glass. It's it's going to be all over the place. Now I wanted to get this closer so you could see what's going on here. Now what we'll do is we'll make a, a mix here that's got much more of the water in it. Or the water. You, you can use this for water effects too, by the way. So you see how that's very, looks like melted snow push a little bit more in here and you will find that looks very much crunchier doesn't it look at that see how that looks fluffy and white it's because there's more of this than there is of this hey Arathu how are you doing and Velfera welcome in yeah Velfera it was it was definitely a Monday today there was no doubt about it it was definitely Monday we're trying to forget that it was Monday and we're we're trying to just welcome in Tuesday here actually we started calling Monday pre Tuesday just in the hope that maybe it would be a little bit less of a, a little bit less of a pain in the in the you know what so we got ourselves some nice fluffy snow here it's actually not a bad idea maybe to even have a couple of brushes going for this. So see, we got some fluffy snow right there. Got ourselves some fluffy snow. Now this stuff, it doesn't just stick. You have to kind of make it stick. But that also means that you can move it around. You can work with it. But there we can kind of push that around and make it into little piles of snow. Look at this. And have it hanging off the edge here. Like so. Oh, let me see. So, Velfer, I hope that your Monday was a little bit less of a Monday. Um, you, you could sniff this. Um, it would be a little bit like, uh, you know, taking a little bit of a lick of the cadmium red. It makes things go faster, which is usually like the end of your existence, but... You know, for some folks, maybe they like to experiment. But definitely, you want to treat this stuff with respect. Uh, pretty much everything in the miniatures industry, I know people say, well, that's dangerous. Like, yeah, pretty much everything in the miniatures industry is pretty much designed to shorten your existence. So that's kind of how that goes. Ah, look at that nice old pile. And, and... Nice thing is here that this is translucent. You'll be able to see through, especially this part here. See where it's kind of, look at that. See how it's kind of almost like a, yeah, that, that's almost like partially melted snow right there. And if we have ourselves a smaller brush like this. Now, oh, there's my water. Then we can sort of push this down here. Ah, oh, look at that. But see how that's a little bit more translucent than this is right here? Hey, Cromnius, how are you doing? Let's see, Angry Ham is an RPG session today, so I might uh, be an issue. Ah, totally, total party kill. There you go. Yeah, well, we basically kind of refer to it as that whole painting of Dorian Gray type of thing, right? You just keep repainting the painting, and uh, next thing you know, you are all... You're, you're just good. That's why we've been celebrating all those thousands of 29th birthdays. So many, in fact, that we got bored and we decided that we'd be celebrating 30th birthdays for the next couple of millennium. Or millennia. 
however you want to say that. So we'll just mix this up here and now that I can tell is going to be a more melted not, that could be fine, that could be what I want. I'm not going to pour this directly into that mix over there. I'm going to keep pouring it off to the side. Because otherwise you'll just be mixing and remixing. And next thing you know you're going to have a gigantic, huge thing of this. Which you won't be able to use. It just it will set before you get a chance to use it all. Alright, so there's our... There's our snow mixed up. I was about putting a little bit more of this on here. Again, I can just kind of place it with this. I can scrape some of this off right here. Now, hey, Dungeon Pew Pew. It's going to depend. The more of the water effects you have in there, the longer it will take to set, the less it's going to take less and also it will kind of depend on the temperature slash humidity of your house as well it could take as little as maybe 20 minutes it could take as long as an hour or two to really genuinely set also depends on how thick you make it you can do this in layers as well so you, you can do that you can put it in layers it doesn't all have to be in one gigantic clump you could do a bottom layer that's more melted and then do a more of a fresh fallen snow layer on top of that. So kind of much like the oils, it will depend entirely on just how you have mixed it and what it is you need it to do. Because I've noticed just there's, there can be very different work times with this. Again, kind of depending on what it is, how you've mixed it, how you've applied it. And there is kind of no standard mix or whatever. Let's see, Aratha says you can make a snowman if you mix enough of that stuff. Uh, it would be it would be tough to make a snowman. You would want an armature. You you would want to have something underneath this. Because that would be a really, really expensive snowman. <laughs> If you just made it entirely out of this, and it would take you probably a good 20 applications to make one. I mean, we all love our snow mix here, but it would that would be a lot of snow that you would need. So there we go. That's pretty well set with your snow there. Uh, Valfera, that would be... <laughs> Yeah, you you need these are designed to work together, right? These are are formulated to work together. The PVA glue is definitely not this. It is entirely different stuff. Now, maybe if you wanted to make a snowman, that maybe you could use that, but yeah, this would interact very poorly with glue, so I I definitely would suggest not doing that. Oh, let's see. Oh, angry ham, these I've already used these brushes for crushed glass before and then just painted with them last night. All you have to do is just put them in water and out comes all the crushed glass. I, I do this all the time with these brushes. Hey, Rocky's War Room, how are you doing? Hey, Sakaya, how are you doing there? Uh, let's see. Oh, no problem, Rocky's War. And folks, uh, be sure to give Rocky's War a follow. Yeah, that your your blacksmith there looked really, really good. If you want to throw up a link to that or something like that, feel free to throw a link up to your blacksmith shop there. So see, we just added some snow there to our nice tall tuft. Look at that. Look at how hard was that. So yeah, you definitely don't want to be using glue for this because it's an entirely different mechanism. That's, uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't even want to think of what might happen if you used Elmer's glue instead of instead of the actual water fix. Because they're sold together anyways. So when you buy one, you're getting the other. That's for sure. Uh, and again, it's from Secret Weapon Miniatures. 
Yeah, Velfira, that's uh that's why they've yeah, both from uh and you can see it says uh basically we'll say kind of a combination product right there. Yeah, it's definitely I know it looks kind of, well it looks white when it's mixed together. This stuff does actually it works well actually as water. The other thing that you can do with this stuff here is also mix let let's say you take some kind of well, no, no, some kind of a, a black ink, brown ink, or whatever. You can actually, this would look like oil, almost, like an oil spill or something on the ground. So that's another fun usage for it. See how that's clear? That's uh, that's your water effects there. Yeah, and unfortunately, the Elmer's glue, that would not dry clear, and it would have, it would have a, woof, it would have a very unusual reaction with this stuff. That's for sure. Ah, oh, there's the pictures of uh, Rocky's blacksmith there. Now you can sort of mix it a little bit with the Liquitex Heavy Gel. So here, see how we've got ourselves. That's more of a melted snow mix, right? So I'm going to shove some of this over to the side here. I'm going to just pour some of this out. And we just pour a little bit out at a time. That's an also another way to kind of be safer with it, too, is just have a little bit out there. Because if you tip over whatever, well, okay, you lose some of the crushed glass, but you're not going to lose all the crushed glass. Now, SK Poe, how are you doing? We're just having some fun here with some snow effects. Now you can see, that, see how that gets fluffier and fluffier the more of the crushed glass that gets added in there. This is very much a there's no formulas for you. There's no one part this, ten parts that. You'll just have to kind of mix it yourself and get used to it because, well, that's what I had to do. When, when I first used it, while it was really, really neat, I just had no idea. I kind of had to find my way through it. Now here, let's do a little bit of our Let's get some of that out of the brush here. And that's why we got our water channel in the side over here. So we can get some of the snow out of it. Now I'm going to take an entirely separate paper towel over here. And then that just gets thrown away. It doesn't get used for anything else because we don't want, obviously, to have crushed glass all over the place. Grab some of this now. And let's throw this together here. See how it kind of works its way underneath the horse. Nice little pile of fluffy snow. Fluffy, crunchy snow. Now let's see. Now I want to find out. What would have happened? Let's find a hammer, a window, and some glue. Yeah, I don't know how they make this stuff. I have no idea if it's just uh, if it's a rage-based product where you can just you know take your frustrations out on it. Now here, we want to have icicles here. We better pile up some snow on the end of these here branches. You can see I just threw a second layer right there. And can you see how the under the layer underneath there is a little bit more translucent? This is definitely more opaque. Uh, where do we want to go with it? I'm going to go all the way back here with it. All the way back there. Fill some of that in. You can see we got some on his stirrup over there, which is just fine. We could even get some on the horse itself. We need to get ourselves a decent little pile of snow on this branch. There we go. Look at that. That right there, that's going to take you some practice to do. Uh, let's see. Valfara says you're confused since you can purchase a crushed glass separate from the realistic water. Don't, yeah, Valfara, uh, I, I just uh, recommend for people to get the, oh gosh, what the heck does he call it, uh, 
does he call it a he doesn't call it a kit well you, you actually saw the site whatever he calls that I just figure it's easier for people to think of it as a set I have used this stuff as just Hello, water effects by honest. itself Spark my ganja. No, thank you so much for that follow let's see uh back back alley band thank you so much and uh Ganoff says thank you too Hello, little hobbits. Oh, yes, well, well, our neighbor's windows are a little bit too close to be doing that because every house here is about three feet away from the other house. There. Oh, no that up a little bit more too this is almost like sculpting right here at a certain point it really is just kind of look at this this nice little blob of that here and you can see we're going to go another layer on top of this and see how it's kind of hanging over the side but look at that bottom see how that bottom is a little bit more melted right there and then look at that you can see this is whiter that's more gray right there. So there is your link right there. Actually, Valfera, uh, if you're on the site there, how much does uh, how much is the the the, the combo platter? I know he has a, like a double set of it too. Because I'm kind of working off the last stuff that I bought a while ago. So pull this over here. Now, what's interesting is that you would think this wouldn't do very much. I've done multiple armies with one little container like this. Oh, so 12 bucks. So, Belfira, if this is 12 bucks, you could probably do at least two good sized armies, several warbands for sure. Because I, I wasn't sure if that was going to be your next question was, well, okay, just how much can you do with this stuff? You can do a heck of a lot. I, I was surprised. Nobody was more surprised than me just how much you could get out of this stuff. You can see how it kind of expands, right? It, it sort of uh, puffs up a little bit. So see, how, look, see how those little crunchy batches of snow that we've got right there? Uh, so eight hour for the glass alone but yeah the the water effect is definitely well worth it and now for me since i tend to want the fluffier snow mix instead of the more melted snow mix i tend to have a little bit of the the water effects left over which to me is great because now i have water effects now it's more that the water effects part it's more like the vallejo still water so you're going to have to build a dam and all that kind of stuff and it will want to just kind of creep into everything all right i'm just gonna there build that up a little bit now now you know i didn't invest a lot of time in painting all the rocks because we're really going to cover those up big time here all right, now here probably shouldn't have that go right up to the right up to the uh, underside of the rock because how the heck would the snow get in there? Got to think of that too. Let's see how I've got to push this and put it's a little bit like green stuff in a way. I'll catch you later, Loin. We'll we'll be here for a while. That's for sure. Hello, little hobbits. Spark my ganja. <laughs> Hey, Jay Dragon, thank you so much for that follow. That's appreciated. Oh, Valfara, that some of that stuff is on the way here. Now it's a little, it, it's a little bit confusing because the only videos I've seen of that are more promotional videos. So they just they shovel that stuff on, and it's pretty clear they're putting more than what they really should because they wanted to they want to do their time lapse photography stuff right and make you go wow look at that so see what look at that look at that nice big old bat sitting right there on that log all happy hey achilles blade 
How are you doing there? Let's see. Is it only used for snow effects? Uh, yep. Yeah, Eskipo, it's definitely for snow effects. Now, you can use this for water effects. And like I said, if you're using it for the fluffier snow like me, you're going to have you're going to have some left over and then you could use that as water effects too. You can you can mix it with some paint to give it some color. I've done that too, but let's say you want to have like the the crazy Nurgle whatever like coming out of a sewer or something like that. Uh, look look at this. Look what we're going to do here. I'm going to pile some up here. See how it's just hanging right over the edge there? But because it's literally translucent, it's going to already, it's already starting to look like an icicle. Every other snow effect, I don't care what it is. Okay, it does the white puffy snow, all right. But it's horrible at creating this kind of, this crystalline effect. There's just nothing else that does this. And I wish there were other things. I have yet to find something. Other products do interesting things that, that look kind of neat, but they just don't do this. And it's, it's unfortunate, but it's kind of how it is. Uh, let's see. Arathu is from Norway and can confirm from experience snow gets everywhere. Yes, indeed. Well, that's why we're going to be putting snow on top of these guys as well. Because, well, my block and a half walk to the grocery store when it snows... I am completely covered, especially any area where there's no body heat getting to it. So you can see that's already getting crunchy right there. That's already starting to get crunchy. So that, that'll tell you, you don't have hours and hours to work with this stuff. It's just not going to last that long. That's why we only mix a little bit of it at a time. Now again, we're, we're going to be segregating these paper towels from each other. Because that paper towel now does have some, well, crushed glass residue in it. And we would probably want to be careful with that. I'm going to mix ourselves up some more here. Because remember, we still got the movement tray to go. You can hear that sound. Well, that's the crushed glass. Oh, what the heck, we're just going to put it all in there. You can see how that's already cured. So you do not have hours and hours and hours to work with this stuff. You have only so long. You have a finite working period, and that is it. Uh, let's see. All right, that found snow. Yes, that found snow in the weird. It gets in the darndest places, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. So Valfera, it, you can you can color it, you know, add some paint to it. This is why I like the crushed glass because we did an experiment. I think it might be on the YouTube channel or it was a Patreon video here. But see all the the blood effects here. You can paint the blood on there and see how it's seeped down inside the crystals here, because it's crystals. I've tried doing that with other snow effects. And all it does is it just looks like, oh, actually, I think we got another one here, maybe. Yeah. So see that right there? That, you can't do that with anything else because it's not crystals. It literally just looks like red paint spattered on top of foam. I mean, it just it looks, it looks silly. It looks ridiculous. Again, I wish that wasn't the case because, but it just kind of is. Nothing else has been able to do what this can do. And again, I cannot vouch for any kind of, uh, so we, shall we say, shipping times. Uh, I do believe that the shipping times have gotten quite extended, so that's just something to factor in. Ah, here's another thing. See, we're hanging that off the back right here. And Velfair, what you could do is, well, here, check this out. I I know you've seen this probably a couple of times. This is where I mixed weathering powders in with this. And as you can see, we created a muddy snow right here. 
And now here, this is the side with the crushed glass over here. So this side has crushed glass. This side over here was a couple of other materials. And I just like the crushed glass better. I mean, it's just kind of how it is. Hey, Dragon Day, how are you doing? Let's see, I got her late. Can you give the names of the two products again? Well, it's all from Secret Weapon. And actually, the link, if you scroll up the chat a little bit, you will get the link to this. It's from Secret Weapon Miniatures. And as uh, Valfara convert, this is $12 for the set. And for the $12, you've got enough to do at least a very large army, if not two medium-sized armies. Uh, Arathu, we're going to get to that. Uh, we ha Actually, you can also just check out the YouTube channel because there is a bazillion articles on icicles because we love making icicles here. We are going to be using the Liquitex Heavy Gel, the same stuff that we use for water effects, for fire, for all other kinds of things. So you can see we got icicles there, icicles there. On the, all that Song of Ice and Fire stuff I showed you, there's icicles all over the place. And we're going to be putting icicles here. See where that tree branch is? So we will be doing a ton of icicles here. Believe it or not, the process of doing icicles is not that much different than doing water effects or fire. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, we'll just plop this down. Absolutely love this stuff. Let me see. Oh, Rocky Zorum just bought his. Yeah, now Rocky Zorum, is there... I, I know obviously the, the Wild West stuff, probably not going to get a whole lot of snow. But do you have uh, some, some projects where you say, you know what, I could use this on here? Anything already in mind? I'm just going to chuck this all the way back. This is, again, another reason. Why did we paint the horse's hooves lighter? Huh? Because look at all the snow that's around them. All of this snow. And look at this. See, we can have it be patchy snow here. It doesn't have to be covering the whole thing. Let's see. Uh, a sin star, it, it can... It can work fine. Actually, uh, let's see, what would you have there? Actually, Sinstar, what I would suggest doing is actually mixing the white with the gray. Because we do that all the time. We we mix our, our Badger, Stein, Badger Steiner Res primers all the time to create different colors. See, look at look at that nice crystalline snow that we've got in there. It's, just, it's absolutely fantastic now. We're going to get ourselves some snow on here. We can't have icicles if there's not snow on this, right? Oh, look at that. Snow-covered little twig there. Snow-covered twig. Now, I'm going to mix me up some, some fresh stuff over here. Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah, some terrain. Yeah. I think we're all set there. So, oh, and there's your link again for Dragon Day. Uh, Valfara, I have used this thing uh, well, on terrain and some larger scale stuff. Technically, this is probably, when you think about it, it's probably on the technically on the large size for a figure, right? Or for figures of this size. But, yeah, for one-tenth, it should... Actually, the bigger the thing is, the more realistic it'll probably look. Actually, that's that's what I'm thinking. Now here, I'm trying to just mix a smaller amount of it right here. Because I'm just trying to hit that tree. So we're just going to mix a smaller amount of it here. And I want actually part of it to be more melted and part of it to be a little bit more on the fluffy side of things here. That's a bazillion videos of everything. If I ever need to find the meaning of life. Uh, yeah, Arathu, I think we've covered that in probably, oh, at least four videos so far. We, Yeah, I mean, that's a, it's kind of a minor question. So we've had to cover it in only a few. Otherwise, we'd put it in more. 
It's nowhere near as important as snow effects, though. Snow effects are way more important. And let's hit this nice big old log right here. And again, what I just did right there, you will have to practice that. That is your first attempt using this snow. That ain't going to happen. Because the first time I tried using this snow, that ain't what happened. There was a little bit of, well, what the heck? And then there was a, oh, okay. And then there was a, ah, all right. That's what I needed to do. So there is going to be a little bit of uh, futzing around, to say the least. I am so glad that I did not bother painting all, all kinds of stuff on these bases here. I used to sit there and paint the bases and all this kind of stuff, only to realize that, well, yeah, really could have saved myself some time there. Didn't need to paint that. So see, I can put another layer on the end of that. Look at that. Do we have a Reiner in the house? We do. So, folks, I'm sure you're already following Reiner, so I'm probably not even going to say that you should, although you should. Uh, so, Reiner, I said, boy... I was going to sleep at whatever o'clock this morning. I saw you were starting up your stream. All right, I'm going to say that the, the snow effects, those are done at least for the miniature. Still got the movement tray, or for the bases. Now we got to get some snow on these guys here. And this is where things get even more interesting, where I'm actually going to take even more of this out of the brush here. I don't want, don't want that stuff sitting in the brush there. Especially these guys with all the fur over here, right? So, Ryan, I hope that you're doing good. Oh, let me see. Uh, thank you for showing me. I was looking at other products an hour ago. Yeah, Rocky's War Room. Uh, now, the micro balloons have emerged as a new favorite. Uh, I think they're a little bit better. I like those better than the, the, the Luke's APS stuff. And some of the other things that I've tried. It's it's a combination thing. It doesn't just work by itself. you got to use it with other stuff. But but the micro balloons, we use that on the T3485. Right here. Yeah. So it worked reasonably well on this. In, in some ways, I don't know, it uh, the size of, because they are such tiny little, literally tiny little microscopic uh, balloons, it was, it was pretty effective. So that's a... You know, if you can't get this stuff, I, I w you can go back to that T3485 session there and see what we do with that. So see, we just uh, got some snow piled up on them here. We're well, not everywhere, just just some little bit there, and it's going to be nice and translucent. We got another guy with some fur over here. Just going to gather up some of my material here, like so. Start to get some of this on his, again, on the fur here. This is another reason why I didn't go too crazy painting this. All I wanted to do was have enough of a dark color there because, as we've said, this stuff is translucent, being, well, glass and all. So that means what's underneath, especially when you apply it thin enough, that is going to show through. Oh, Valfair, I don't, I don't know if the the water effect stuff is really all that vulnerable to temperature. Not like the Steiner Res, not like, not like jars of primer. I think you could be okay. Now, of course, it could be a lot colder down where you are. Here, unfortunately, it's only in the mid 30s or something. I was hoping for much colder than that. Sadly, we are not going to be getting that this week. We're kind of getting the opposite. And it can do multiple layers here. I'm not stuck with just one layer. Uh, let's see. And there's your link to the to the micro balloons. Just And just like Arathu says, they're fantastic for small parties. They might be a little bit big for gnomes. But you could just uh, hand those out as party favors. Now, trying to make balloon animals out of the micro balloons might be a little bit difficult unless you are probably only a few microns tall. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Uh, Rocky's were asking about the micro balloons. That the you saw the T thirty four eighty five. That's we used it on that. It it's basically an alternative to this. We did try to make melted snow with it. And well, I'll show you the the vehicle again. Boy, some of this stuff is already set. Now, is it is it completely set? Not completely set. But this is I think one of the first ones we did. A lot of the snow is. Yeah, a lot of the snow is already set on here. So you don't have tons of work time. Yes, our, our moderator is definitely just fantastic with those links. That's why we appreciate him so much. So here, now we combine, see that Liquitex heavy gel, the glossy stuff there. We try to combine that with the with the micro balloons and with the, the what was that, the Vallejo earth, te no, Vallejo snow texture. That's That's it. So yeah, you can't just use the micro balloons on their own. That that's not going to work so well. That by itself, not so much. All right, I'm just going to see what I can snag here. Sometimes you can bring a little bit of this back to life, like that, and then we can maybe find another area where we can just uh, pile this in here. Maybe right there. And you can see it's got a little bit more water in it. So, and we also we managed to hide that stupid. Uh, I, I understand why they have to have those, but yeah, we hid that crazy little sculpted grass thing. Absolutely hate those. So that's probably about three layers that we put right there. But as you can see, that this is more opaque than that because this had more of the water effects in it. More of the water effects, more translucent it's going to be. Now, I do believe this is completely dry at this point. Oh, yeah. That, that he, well, that's why he is the, the best moderator in, well, in the history of moderators, not just on all of Twitch, but just the best moderator in the history of moderators. I'm going to just a, a smidge more of this out here. Just start mixing some stuff up here. Now here I know I can use a bunch of it at the same time. Because we're doing a we're doing the movement tray now. Now we got some seriously fluffy snow right there. And I'm well I've certainly seen snow as fluffy as that. Now maybe we throw a little bit more water effects in there to, to tone that down, but I have a whole lot of movement tray to cover so I'm not going to worry about that in fact a big old chunk of this is going to go right here now I don't want to overhang this too much over this the, the circles here because the, the figures have to go in there and they have some of their overhangs they have some overhang stuff so see here we're just going to leave a little bit of a gap there just just for the heck of it we are going to leave a little gap there and let's work around our tree branches here. And this is, now you see why I did not spend a whole lot of time painting this. All I needed to do was make it darker and have just some vague hint of a color on it. That's all that I needed. Nice thing is that you can really pile this stuff up against things like here. So basically sculpting with it, right? Look at this. Pushed it right up against the side of that like it's been wind blown. Now you can, well heck, you could take micro balloons and dump it on top of this while it's still wet. You could take the just the crushed glass part and pour it on this while it's still wet. It will stick there and it'll look, actually it really does a nice crystalline thing. The, the problem is that you just kind of, you're going to tend to get the, They'll, they'll fall off, and you'll be wasting some of your, your crushed glass stuff. It's not really worth, as neat as the effect is, it's not worth just wasting the crushed glass. And you can see how terribly complex it is to <laughs> get yourself some really neat snow effects there on your, on your grass tufts. 
it works better when it's just a little bit on the clumpy side. And the neat thing is, it just it really does look like there's icicles and, and such, icy whatever, covering that plant there. Uh, let's see. Yep, the, the heavy gloss gel. That's what we're going to be using for the icicles. We'll be using that next. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think we're all caught up. Oh, Reiner, I saw your was that was that Abaddon, right? That must have been Abaddon that you had there. I saw it just uh, maybe three minutes before I finally had things ready to start doing this here. So, folks, definitely go check out Reiner's Instagram and see the see his latest post. That was looking really fantastic. And also, folks, speaking of Armored Wolf. Definitely head on over to Armored Wolf's Etsy page for those dice bags. You know how much we love our dice bags here. More dice bags, more better. And now that he got all of the, the materials needed to start getting caught up on those dice bags, you, you really want to make his arm fall off and order a ton more so that he, well, he never sleeps anyway, but now he will sleep even less if you guys order more of those. Oh, that's right. That was the Dark Angels. That's right. I really wish it could have been left ghosted like that. That I understand why he'd want it painted white because that's a that's what the Dark Angels thing really looks like. But that kind of ghosted symbol like that that was that was pretty neat looking. I liked it like that. Now we got ourselves another little mix here. This is going to be a little bit more melted. I'm just going to say, you know what the heck? That's going to be more of a melted melted mix. What I am going to do, though, is get my glass over here. And that is definitely going to be a nice semi-translucent mix right there. I'm going to get some of this on my little twigs there. So that it looks like it's, yeah, it's there, but it's also maybe starting to melt just a, a smidge. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's see, is that just PV? Nope, that is, uh, this is from Secret Weapon right here. We're using, it's a, it's a combo material. You can use this as water effects. I mean, it is realistic water. But these two are used together. And the we have a little bit more water effect than, than crushed glass. So see, it's kind of a melted. You're going to see in just a little bit, you'll see what happens when you've got more of the crushed glass in there. It makes more of a fluffy snow. And you can see, see all those little crystalline effects that are happening here. That is because, well, it's crushed glass. Nothing else is going to give you that effect because, well, nothing else is crushed glass. Unfortunately, there's just no other material out there that's going to do that for you. So, what? Well, let's see. Anything else? Uh, so, Scotty, yeah, that's uh, this. This is just a fantastic material. You can use it. You can take. You could uh, take uh, the weathering powders and mix it in and see how now we've got the sort of muddy snow that looks like it's been really trampled on right there. Uh, let's see. Uh, here we go. Let's uh, put some. This is our more of a melted version right here. Okay, we've got something in my way, and that is this guy. So we're just going to move him out of the way for now. That's a little better. But this is already setting up right here. So you do not have a, a huge amount of working time with this. 
Now, again, if you've got more of the water effects than the crushed glass, your your working time is longer because the the cure time on this. Oh, let's see. Look, okay, so it says apply to a depth of no more than one eighth of an inch and allow twenty four hours to dry. Well, it it's it's hard now. It's not cured. It's hard. So that's that's why I can put second and third layers on it and not have to worry too much. Uh, Arathu, if I could use diamond dust for this, I would already, I would have that house that has entire floors just for playing Lord of the Rings on, which would also have sound effects. It would have, it would have lighting that would go, you know, say you're doing a dusk to dawn scenario or something like that, and all of the lighting in the room would change, and the sun would actually come up on one side of the room. So if I had if I had the change to be using diamond dust for this, I would have some I would be using that bling for a lot of things. Let's put it that way. It would it certainly would be the the height of decadence, that's for sure. All right, why don't we get ourselves a wee bit of snow on this? And oh look. Look what happens when we push this. We're pushing it over the edge. See that hanging over the edge there? That's about we get some over on this side too. And oh look, that can also hang over the edge. When you're doing something like this, you got these nice little rough areas here. I can just literally use it to scrape some of the, the extra crushed glass out of the brush there. There is nothing like working with this stuff just to, it, it's like green stuff. You're just kind of pushing it around. You add to it here, add a little bit more over there. Absolutely loved it. But you can see there, you can see the rocks in between there. Otherwise, for the most part, you're just going to get that. See, look at that. It almost looks like an ice sheen right there. And then look, see how it's hanging off the, the edge right there? Just fantastic stuff. Now, we got ourselves a nice little blob for right there. It's like your icing. It's like putting icing on cookies, which I have no idea when we're going to actually be able to do our gingerbread cookie stream and also gingerbread arrests. I mean, hopefully we will be able to do gingerbread arrests. That's that would be really fun to be able to do that. I have a something tells me that's going to be much closer to Christmas, though. Like a lot closer to Christmas. It's also going to take an awful lot of gingerbread to make a gingerbread arrest. Hey, Robosh, how are you doing? No, oh, thank, thanks, Rebecca. Yeah, I would. Just, just uh, think of the live. Oh, and think of the live streaming of that, right? Because we wouldn't just keep that to ourselves. I mean, that would just be, that would be live streamed all over the place. That, those kind of special effects there. That would make for a very fun live stream. Well, actually, I do want to get that effect in my battle reports. Well, I'm gonna be doing battle re reports before I try to stream it live, just to try and get the lighting down and such. Ah, uh, look at this. It's just kind of falling down. It's like almost like a little waterfall of snow here. I just wish that it was snowing here instead of other weather. And we're just going to get some of our crunchy snow over here. I think we'll just do one last little mix here of snow. Uh, we're going to do a snowball fight miniature game one of these days. Is one of your live play? That's going to be very fun. I'm, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure there's probably some kind of rules out there for snowball fights in miniature. Evil snowmen versus kids. Actually, Kathy and I, we actually had worked out the stats for two Blood Bowl teams: an, an Easter Blood Bowl team and a Christmas Blood Bowl team. And the Blood Bowl team was obviously going to have snowmen, and one of the things that they would do, depending on the weather they would have this melting effect 
So the more they melted, it would weaken them. But anybody that wanted to go after them had to like roll a three or better just to be able to throw a block because they would slip on the ice and hurt themselves or slip on the water. Ah, I already got the rules all set to go. I thought so. Uh, let me see. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know. We we saw actually the as good as all the gin uh, the gingerbread arrest houses were. We saw some bear a door that were fantastic, including being lit up and all that sort of stuff. But we we figured we'd start out easy with the gingerbread arrest or easier. Oh, Dr. Faust Painting Clint, we were painting horses last night, and we've been putting snow on horses. Because this is the cavalry, ch this is the equine channel. That's what this is. This is the equine channel. All things horses right here. So we're just going to fill in some more of this here with some of our snow. Just the last little bits of it here. And then at a certain point later on, maybe we'll pull those guys off of their little containers. And hopefully they will all sit on here and I won't have to... Ah, look at this. See how that's translucent right there? Look at that. More translucent, more better. Oh, let me see. Did Christmas team have Santa? Oh, he definitely had a Santa and there were elves. There were there was Santa, there were elves. The elves obviously had Stunty. And they, the the secret weapons were the elf toy making tools. So yeah, there were a variety of mallets and hammers and saws. They had a lot of secret weapons. Also, Santa had a sleigh. So instead of the death roller like the dwarves, Santa had a sleigh. Let's see how much of this stuff I can gather up here. There's a surprising amount. So I see, I can. Look at all that. They're just kind of sitting around there waiting to be gathered up. Harvesting some snow here. Oh, let's see. Did the Christmas team have Santa? Give the file. And uh, uh, folks, definitely, like our, like our moderator just cho tossed up that link there. You want to give Dr. Faust a follow. So Dr. Faust, I hope that the week got off to at least a an adequate start and there wasn't too much Monday because the last few Mondays there's been too much Monday especially for other folks that <laughs> seems like they come in and they'd say yeah there was a lot of Monday today yeah, just a, a last little bit here Now that is quite the fluffy snow mix right there. And you can see I'm not doing a lot of it in these areas because I've got some overhangs and such, so we don't want to have a problem with that. Uh, oh, I was going to say, I'm not quite sure, not familiar with those brand, that brand of miniatures right there. So this is even fluffier. See how there's a, a, a difference there in the opacity of that? And now look what's that. See how we're just kind of tamping that down a little bit here? Just tamping that down a little bit. Now see here, that was just, it's kind of partially cured. I'm just going to make one last little bit here. There's a couple of rocks I would like to have some more snow overhangs on, so I'm just going to mix a little bit more here. Just always starting out with the two separated from each other. You can always take some of this over here, get the mix started. I said, well, okay, that's a little too fluffy. I take a little bit more here. I said, that is just about what I'm looking for there. Not too much too much of the liquid, not too much of the crushed glass. I just want to put a touch of that here. Uh, 
See how it's going to hang over the front there? Just thought it could be interesting. Hangs over the front. Now remember, the next thing we got to do here is we got we still have icicles that we want to do. We are still doing our icicles yet. That's why I wanted to get to this movement tray and make sure that the the crushed glass on the other stuff on our miniatures had a chance to cure. Flatten this out again. I'm going to just sneak a little bit of snow back here. Yeah, even that is kind of hardened a little bit. But you see how it, it sort of flattened on either side? So I put it on there, and then it just it did flatten because it wasn't the super crunchy mix. It had a little bit uh, less of the crushed glass, a little bit more of the water effect. Now that is going to be fluffier. So we've got a few different types of snow effects going on just in this one area right here. Now that's that's something to remember if you put a lot of uh, the water effects in your snow, it will flatten out. It's going to pancake. It'll be just like a pancake batter that doesn't have enough whatever in it. And it will just sort of flatten out. Just going to try and get the last of this stuff off of here. And we'll get that brush from out, out from underneath there. Now let's just try and get some of the crushed glass out of our brushes here. You can also use, geez, we used to just use rubbing alcohol to clean out the brushes, but if you get this stuff, well, even if you don't get it, if it's dry, you can still use something, well, even your brush cleaner that we use for the oil paints will probably still work for that. So that, that's our brush. That's basically back to where it was when we started. And if we feel that the need to clean it even more, I'm just going to use some of my brush cleaner on that. And that'll get it even more clean. So this right here, that's just going to be heading over to the garbage just to get that out of the way. Oh, no, look. We got another one. Apparently, we use lots of butter here. So... That's going to go off to the side. And next up, Liquitex Heavy Gloss Gel. Let's see, is the stream, uh, is this the stream with the yellow snow? Uh, actually, it will depend entirely just on maybe how much of this that we have, because that could create some more yellow snow. Now, of course, any good miniature painter always signs their bases. So if I have enough of that or too much tea, I just might be able to sign my bases. That uh, hopefully, you know, it's a, it's, well, it's a big enough movement tray. I think we should be able to find some space on it for that. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> Kathy's been moving her studio around. We've been doing it, oh my gosh, for four days now. Look what I found. Yes, this is the hype. This is the primed hype train right here. Yes, that's the primed hype train. So we can now finally we can paint the stupid hype train. Now this is a really good example here of where we can do some of our wonderful icicle effects. Now I'm just going to make sure that this thing is clean here. Heavy gloss gel. Now you can see where that can make some icicles. Look at that. Probably won't be needing that much. We'll just throw that out there. Oh, let's see. Then Kathy's doing a good job. The good butter is amazing. Well, we just call that uh, Angry Ham. I don't know if you've ever been. Well, you've probably never been to a White Sox game, but they serve something called a lemon chill. Every winter around here, if if you if you like snow, there's a lemon chill probably somewhere around a fire hydrant, I would assume. So look at this material right here. See that? 
Look at how much structure there is there. Look at this. Doesn't tip over. I use this for water fountains, for water falls. Where's my waterfall? Here it is. So I've done a bunch of these. So waterfall effects like so. That's the same exact stuff. And of course, oh, where's Bernie? Where's Bernie the Balrog? He's around here somewhere. Ah, there you are. So Bernie the Balrog. Fire and ice. So this flame right here, that was just a big old hunk of metal. Didn't really look a whole lot like flame. I added layers of flame here. So that was actually the, the same Liquitex gel that you see right out on that little palette now. That was all added. We added more to his sword here. So you can see that. We added more to that. Oh, Rocky's War Room. It makes flame effects. Let's say you want to do like a flamethrower or something like that. A flamethrower. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> But I use this for water fountains. They're, they're on the YouTube channel. Go check them out. There's, heck, you could probably just look for water effects on the YouTube channel and find something. All right, speaking of water here, I'm going to throw a little bit more of this in the, you know what, I'm going to put this in a separate little container over here. Because if you get water into the heavy gel, well, it, it sometimes it's handy, but it's also not going to... It's not going to be quite so structural. We also are going to need some smaller brushes out here, like that. Clean this off again. So I think, uh, Valfara, that was your question about the brushes. You can see we're just we're back to where we were. Actually, it's probably cleaner than it was when we started. In fact, I think it is. It just might be cleaner than when we started. And what I'm going to do here, actually, I just set him aside. What I'm trying to do is just create some little, little things here that I can just kind of leave behind. So let, let's see what happens with this. A little bit of this behind. Thank you very much. You don't need all that here. I'll take some of that away. Now eh, we don't need all that. We'll just go with what we have. And then you just start to literally pull on it. You could even use your fingers a little bit. Now, oh, thank you so much, trash Arama. Appreciate that. He's like, I can't. I'm gonna get it before the stupid horde. Uh oh, yellow snow. Ah, oh, let's see. Well, I'll catch you later, Reiner. I know you had a very, 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 very early start to the day, so you get yourself some sleep. Uh -huh. Get some sleep for me too, because there's not gonna be any of that here tonight for sure. All right, so see, we got that a little bit more under control there. Let's see what we can do with this guy. See how that starts to get extended a little bit more? You can also, where's my water? There it is. We can hit this with some water too. I might just do another little set of smaller one right here there we go not all the same size and the, the nice thing is that we can also if you let that set now we don't really want to do that right away we'll just kind of show you here so we're going to take some water into that heavy gel. See how I'm mixing up here? Hopefully that's on camera for you. And then we can just sort of add to this and see it now it's a little less sharp and pointy. See how it's a little bit more like a drop of water on the end of that? Now let's see. <laughs> I must view the stream. The, the mighty Reiner cannot be, he can't be forced away from the stream that easily. 
by just some petty, so just some uh, minor thing called sleep and exhaustion. Minor things. Yeah, we're going to be doing a ton more of this winter effect type stuff because, well, there's the the Space Marine chapter, right, that I want to do. The Not Space Puppies 40k deal there with the snow. Yeah, no Space Puppies. No Space Puppies. I might just let a little bit of this pile up there on the end. And when it dries, you're going to have very much the same effect here, like you see on the on the gun barrel. And you see off the back deck where we've got the exhaust and all the other heat sources right there. So it will be nice and clear and crystalline. Where's my other, where's my lady here? So what we did is exactly what you see right there. Ah, see if I put my finger behind it, you can see those nice clear little icicles. That's what those are going to do. The less material, I guess, you have, the clear those are going to be, at least initially. All right, let's see what we can do here on this one. Sometimes you just need to attach it first. Bring my water over here. Actually, then that way you guys can see it. I'm going to make sure that's well attached before I start trying to pull that down. And you can see if I use the water, it's a little bit less sharp. I mean, how does an icicle form anyway? It's drops, drops, drops of water. So it's not a bad idea to just sometimes take a little bit of it, a little bit of water to it. So we got ourselves a nice little icicle right here. Can you see this? I think you can. Try and attach that here. But we had to have the, the melted snow there first, right? Or snow, we had to, we had to have something there first. Otherwise, not going to make a whole lot of sense. Then we also want to make sure that it's going to be somewhat uh, perpendicular to the ground. Now we're, we're doing the water thing again because we don't want this thing to be too sharp. We want it to look like water. It's just dripping down here. Oh, Arathi, you definitely can. I right, let me see if I can find. I added another level to this, so that makes it a bit higher. One second here. My cord is actually wrapped around my leg. So I got a couple of these here. This is the same exact material. You can see how it's tinted blue right there. So you can most definitely tint this. Yeah, you can see see that little bit of a greenish sea foam tint to it. This is where we're using it as water effects. You can really see it over there. You could <coughs> you could take fluorescent paints, right, and give it some kind of a crazy sort of toxic waste appearance. It's pretty much up to you what you want to do with it. It's literally that flexible of a material that might be a little bit big for an icicle there also don't need static grass in it okay yeah there's a piece of static grass now let's get that pulled out of there we'll just make a new one here that's a little bit too much. There. And then we're just going to start pulling this down just like we did before. I'm going to use some water here. And you could you can sculpt with this stuff. It's kind of like the snow 
material where you sort of learn the hard way just how to really work it and control it there's just there's just a hard way you there's only experience that's not really something that you can read in a book or whatever you just have to work with the stuff so there we go we've got ourselves some more icicles hey, let's see uh, so Belfira you you could now you're gonna get something more like this if you just use uh, powdered pigments you're gonna get something more like that you're, you're gonna lose all translucency to it there was that that water stuff that you saw that's that's what we use to get that bluish tint to it because this is super translucent so if you use something that's super opaque well your your water effect now is going to be super opaque Stila is done mixing the oil yeah Stila and you should have seen you know when we started earlier every single acrylic jar that I tried using was clogged actually it was the same way I was filming a video just last night and the stupid every single jar of paint was clogged every last one of them didn't matter which company it was from if it was acrylic it was clogged which is just uh, another one of those reasons why we don't really use that stuff anymore so I, I just realized I can't have that one hanging down really far because well it kinda has to go on a movement tray Uh, you, you could Velfera. I again that's a that's a dry powder going into this it might be translucent enough if you have them give it a shot if it works that's fantastic but but you might want to try it on something else that you don't really care about you know just just a test or whatever see what happens because yeah that that's uh not something I I don't know if I've really got any projects that would be good for that. Now again, I can't have that one be too long because, well, what? Why would it? Why would I want it hanging that far over my base where it's going to be just touching? Now I'm looking at the horses here. Uh, there was one of these. Ah, that's what we wanted to try to do. We did want to try and mix this with a little bit of crushed glass just to see if we couldn't actually have some the horse kicking up some snow here is there one of these horses that's better for it than another now this see where this is already that's already starting to set a little bit I can kinda maybe add a little bit more there yeah still that's gonna be well, I gotta mix a whole bunch of them tonight, cause well, Kathy's gonna need them for tomorrow, and just I'm out of a bunch of them too. So I guess I will be doing a ton of mixing of paints later tonight. That's why probably, unless something is different, probably somewhere in the midnight range or so. That's when we'll have to sign off, because I've got many, many hours of work yet to go. Yeah, again, another thing. I just can't have too much of that hanging off of there. And is it? We're just going to add some. You let that. Each and every one of these things looks like an additional little water drop. So it just starts to look more and more like your icicles are forming. So you want to have a nice big old batch of melted stuff on the end there. We still have some of these, I think, on the move. Oh, yes, we got some of these on the movement tray to do. So I'm going to set this one aside. All of these guys aside. Where's my movement tray? There it is. Because we got these guys to do now. Let's see. So oh, Valfer has some cyberpunk minis. I need to work into my printing. Ah boy, well I hope that your printing is going is going well. Oh look at this. We're just gonna pop this sucker right there. 
Dang. Yeah, still it, it's uh and the the nice thing is you know exactly what to expect out of it, right? Because you mixed them yourself and you know what you're going to get, which is really kind of a cool thing. Uh, Terathu made hoof marks where the snow was kicked up behind the back legs of my Iron Hill Dwarfs. Like that look? Yes, I, I've done it with the mud, too. There's just so many fun... And with the... Oh, uh, it was one of my Harad here. Of course, it's probably not this guy. But yeah, I, one of my Harad where I have the, the sand bases, I use the water effects and powder. Oh, yeah, now that's one where I use the Liquitex and the, the, he, the powder. It was actually to make sand being kicked up behind the horse. I did actually do that, and and, and it kind of worked. It it's, it was hard to hide the the shininess of it, unfortunately. Oh, that's such a neat icicle, but it's just a little too long. Well, maybe that one's better. Maybe that will ah ha ha ha. There we go. A little bit of water here. Just want to make sure that's attached. Uh, let's see. Oh, and uh, oh, no problem, Velfera. Yeah, the uh, she needs her oil paints there, and I'm just literally out of all but like four of mine. So I I have to probably mix a good fifteen of them at least tonight. More like twenty. Oh, there. There's a nice a little bit of small one right there. Any other? Okay. Nothing else sticking out there. I guess the, the one thing that's hard to sometimes remember is that this stuff is going to be translucent. It's not going to be so white once it's, once it's done there. Or once it's been cured, not going to be so white. Ah, maybe we can do this here. Okay, let, let's give this a try. Let's see what happens. We'll get this stuck here. Maybe not quite so much. Okay, a little bit of a clump here off the back. Just got to get it to stick first. There we go. You use the water stuff, it's almost like it unsticks it a little bit. And what we've got to remember is that that big old white clump there, that's not going to dry white. We'll just uh, do a little clumps like this here. Now, where's that crushed glass? I'm just going to put a little bit over here. I was about a little bit there we go aha so now I can see it all I can see it sitting on the end of this here there we go and that the nice thing is that it's go you're not gonna see that big old blob of white what you're gonna see is just a bunch of little crystals right here Oh, let's see, I bought the silicoil washing jar and almost cried when I saw how much mineral spirits need to go in it until I found out that I can use that same spirits over and over because the paint will sink. Yeah, since the, you can. Now, I don't use the, the mineral spirits. I just use, obviously, the, uh, the the Mona Lisa stuff. But even there, that that thinner, or the paint will sink to the bottom. 
it will sink to the bottom and you can just sort of keep using it oh ho, ho there we go that's a lot of crystals right there I'm gonna try and do a little bit more of a mix right here so we haven't really mixed this very much I don't even can that, I don't even know if that shows up on screen there aha uh -huh. so there we go we got ourselves another nice big old clump of snow on that another hoof right there uh -huh. so I'm gonna be really curious to see what that'll look like when that is dry because it'll all be see-through So hopefully that, that's going to look like that horsey kicking up some snow. I don't know if there's any other ones where it's, ah, this one could work. Yeah, that one could work there. So I'm just going to mix this up. Some of the crushed glass in there. We're going to find out what happens when this dries. We'll, we'll see what happens. I, I haven't tried this yet. Get you stuck on there. <laughs> okay, we got, we have a little snowball stuck to the end of his uh, hoof there. So that should be interesting to see. Now, what about there's maybe a little less on this one? Maybe even just a pinch over there. So hopefully that looks uh gives us that flying snow look. That is barely attached to his foot, but that Liquitex heavy gel, it has like a surprising amount of hold. Now well, Arge is back. Let's see, still oh when well, we were talking about a while ago. I looked up the ingredients of the Mona Lisa thinner. Looks like it's a petroleum base. So this was a, this was a first time thing right here, and I'm kind of liking that. I am kind of liking the way that goes. Now I might just a little bit on his hoof on this side here. Okay. Now what about this one? Probably not so much on him. Probably not so much, but I can start building some more icicles over here. So how's about we just get rid of some of that water or some of the our crushed glass that's in there now. Let's mix ourselves up some more of our heavy gel into something that's a little bit lighter here. And this is where we just sort of we keep adding to the uh, to the end of our little icicles here. Ah, that one's already starting to turn transparent. Sometimes you just build a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. You kind of start with the, the larger icicles, just kind of create that form, and then you just start adding on to it like that. Let's see, our turn, last time I saw you working on snow, you were working with the micro balloons. Uh, Arj, this, this is always going to be my favorite by far because you know how I like things that are utilitarian, that do everything. Now, the micro balloons worked really well on the T3485 right here. But obviously you had to use them with other materials, whereas the crushed glass kind of just works by itself. And this can only ever do fluffy snow. We were able to kind of give you a hint of some melted snow here, so it can sort of work. It's just, I see powder here. I don't see any crystals there. So it, it looks like the powdery snow, but it doesn't have that, it doesn't have the, the crystalline effect. I see, I see just like 
tiny, tiny little gl glints of crystal here everywhere. Because, well, that's what it is. It's crystal. The, the problem is with the crushed glass, sometimes it can be difficult to obtain. The, the micro balloons were mixed with the... It was the, from Liquitex... No, no, sorry. It was from Vallejo. It was the Vallejo snow texture. Because we tried using the Valhallen Blizzard stuff in a previous session, and that just was... Eh, didn't really like that at all. Actually, I'm going to just try and add a little bit more to the end of this. Again, it can't be too much because it's got to... There we go. I think that's about... It's about as long as that icicle can be. I might still have to get rid of some of that. So Zip Zap, I hope that Monday was all right for you. And you can see how that's... Uh, See, I was able to build on the end of that right there because it's it's starting to cure. It's starting to cure means that I can put some stuff on the end of that and start pulling it down. Which means I could probably do that on some of these other ones too. But the new thing that we've done here is we've added some snow clumps to the, to the back of the hooves. So now this is going to be interesting. I'm almost wondering, do I need to use a combination to do that for sand? Well, I need to use a combination of the Liquitex Heavy Gel plus the crushed glass plus the sand. As in sand weathering powder. Or I suppose, I don't know, maybe I could just try actual sand, but that would probably be a little bit too, uh, too heavy. Oh, look at that. The little... On the end of that, that is actually cured. It's it's clear on the end, which is really nifty. And we'll just we'll start working on extending some of these. It's the same exact thing. Where's our little where's our lady here that has a bunch of different branches there? Same thing here. We just have to build that and you can see how translucent those are. They're not white like this anymore once it has been cured. And the more of the, you know, the bigger they are, the the longer it will take for that to cure or dry. I don't know if you really call it cure. Maybe you call it curing. Maybe not. Eh, nope. I was real tempted to add another icicle there, but nope. I might try to add one here. And you notice this is a fresh water as opposed to the dirty water that's over there. But you you can tint this stuff. I mean, you certainly can. I, I would advise something more like an ink or something that is translucent in itself. Oh, ours, the, the crushed glass is very durable. I've used this stuff how many years? Uh, since before 2012? Yeah. I've used this stuff forever. It's it's very durable because, I mean, it almost reconstitutes itself as glass. And it's almost like you are reconstituting the glass after it's been crushed into tiny little particles. It is incredibly strong. And because it's not, there's no, oh, this is another reason why, you know, not with the glue or anything like that, it's never going to yellow because this stuff is, it's it's meant to be water. It's meant to be translucent forever. So it's also, <laughs> you won't get yellow snow because, no, you don't, you don't want that yellow snow. All right, look at this. Ah, oh, look at that nice little clump of snow on the on the ends of that. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, we got we got ourselves a big old clump of snow. So I have not done that before, and that's actually going to get more translucent there. That will become more translucent as the other stuff uh, 
chills out. We welcome it backlog battles. How are you doing? Ah, you put some paint down. Just I hope that was uh, hope it was okay. Probably uh, a, a very new experience. Yeah, the the Thursday sculpting streams. Those are the late night starts. I mean, I would love if I could start the Thursday thing earlier, but between Kathy's streams and everything else, that's as early as I can pretty much begin on a Thursday. It also makes it a little bit easier for, well, Arathu and all of our European friends to maybe catch a little bit of it. Boy, that is all, that's, that's almost completely transparent there right now. So backlog battles, hopefully you had, uh, I don't know, it It doesn't have to be super successful first time out or, or even the second time out or the third time out for that matter. But I hope it was fun for you. All right, so we've got ourselves a, oh, what, what do we do? How do we forget to put one over here? It's the whole point of doing this. So see that nice little tendril of stuff there? I'm going to see if I can't get that attached. And we do. Yay. Now we make our brush be a little bit less sticky. And then thus begins the fun of just kind of uh, taking that and uh, dragging it down. So poof, you got yourself another icicle. And, and it's just a uh, dried foliage. That's all it is. Just dried foliage. Here, let's put you over here where you can't get up to mischief. Where's my... Ah. So you see I'm kind of rotating around here, going back to, like, the first one here so that I can add a little bit more to the end of that. Now, well, let's see. <laughs> I ran through my workspace. It's grateful, I'm sure, so I won't be super sleepy as we welcome in Outsider Miniatures. Outsider Miniatures, how are you doing today? I hope that Monday was, was okay. Mondays are probably never great days under any circumstance. Because they're just, they're Mondays. But we're having some fun here. Try, actually, we tried a whole new thing with the snow and the crushed, or the mixing the crushed glass with the Liquitex Heavy Gel to actually create, is this the good, where's the best example of this? Well, this is an example. So yeah, the, the snow kind of coming off of the hooves of the horse there. Uh, the transferring the powder and the open container are the only risky times then. Yeah, it's it's more so you just don't want to put too much out there. It, it could, you know, end up. Now you could you maybe use a funnel or something like that. You, you could, I suppose, use a funnel or whatever. But I don't. I just I just pour this stuff out. The key is having something like this. Any kind of a, you know, disposable lid like this that you don't care about. It's really handy for mixing the stuff up. It keeps it pretty well contained because it's got a lid around it. It even has a handy little water channel right in there. It's practically its own wet palette. Oh, this could make a great micro wet palette. You have the, the butter container. The bottom becomes the top. You can have a little micro wet palette in there. You could have a sponge in here. and You'd even have a water channel. Look at that. You could have your own micro wet palette. Each of your own paint colors could have their own wet palette folks that really like to have things separate you could have every single color be separate let's see outsider miniatures is not too bad monday work was rough but came home to new brushes and a new boss so that is def what's well, a win-win that is a double win right there backlog battles put on insta i could use some help on what to do with the head of the fly to help break it up a bit Yes, this is the, I can't believe it's not a palette palette. Uh, oh, yeah, this one could use, I don't think we've worked on these for a little while here. 
And it's not the parquet palette either. And you can have this just hanging off of rocks. It doesn't necessarily have to be only little tree branches like this. I'm pretty sure, where, where the heck did this one go? Yeah, see there's icicles hanging off because that's the crushed glass. See those icicles hanging off the rocks right there? Plus, well, obviously the ones hanging off of here. But you see the icicles hanging off of the rocks there? Just imagine uh, your, your, sp your space marines with, with the snow and ice like that. That's going to be very, very fun. Except lots of skulls because they're going to be Ossiarch marines. I'm going to make that one just maybe a little. One of these has to be. I want to make it a little bit longer. If I can. Let's see if I can grab this last little bit here. Ah. See that? It's almost like it's almost like green stuff. It's almost like ah, there we go. Bam. Kaboom. Yes. Are we gonna need to have an icicle chapter in the Book of Wapple? <laughs> or a snow effects chapter? Maybe we do. Let's see. Uh, I'm sure it's been explained a hundred times. So outsider miniatures, if you go back, we've been at this a couple hours now, actually. Go back and watch the beginning because we were using the crushed glass and water effects. We, we've done, you've seen this a bunch of times, uh, probably, oh, several times here on the channel, a lot on the YouTube channel. But now we're adding icicles here with the Liquitex Heavy Gel. Uh, heavy gloss gel. It's not just heavy gel. It's got to be the, the gloss super heavy because obviously that's going to give you the icy effects there. 